The Super Saiyan Show! Yowgwise shall crush them like this! The land of Thunderclap allows no faith but one! Ready. For years, I've prayed you'd find peace. Still, you come to take my life in penance against yours. You wouldn't understand my agony when I took your life. The Buddha sees. No such vengeance. I shall usher you to the beyond once more.
Mortals and Yao Guai's walked different paths, but it's after seeing him again that I understood. Those who fear Yao Guai's are fouler than what they fear. Yeah! <laughs> 
missing here. Oh, fire! I need fire! Oh. Freezing here. Oh, fire. I need fire. I heard that Buddha planted watermelons here hundreds of years ago. One bite grants prolonged life. Yet, when the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, uh, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. 
He rushed to the edge of the cliff but saw no movement down there. Seemed like certain death. But suddenly, he heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. Bewildered, he fled from the cliff. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff.
Time and again, I tested you, and I saw nothing but gullible goodness. <sighs> Our brother does misjudge as well. It requires no effort to trick you. You will never be the destined one. Let me help you end your sorry life.
nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again! has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <clears throat> A nice, ripe melon. Want a bite? Mm. Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Come. Come closer. Now you've found this place. I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. <laughs> Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make?
The Thunderclap allows no faith but one!
Ages ago, Jinjanzo and I were peers. Ever questioned with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra when one oneself can be a Buddha?
That trickster caught you too? This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard! Join me! Let's fight our way out. I remember what the Wukong said at the end of the night. As they eat not the precepts, I give up. I say. Now, you have introduced 
rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. Uh, you pot belly! I should have figured out it was you! <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake! We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray <sighs> lend me that rake of yours. <sighs>
Carried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shanzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? Coming. 